Hello everyone, I am Kali of Gaming and welcome to another week of the iRacing Hall Up Guided series aimed to help the rookies be faster at different tracks. I'll show you my uh, breaking points, turning points, uh, where to go on the throttle and so on in this video. Today, uh, it's usual, um, we are doing the uh, IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge. Um, Porsche 718 GT4 around the Suzuka Grand Prix layout. So before the video starts, please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more racing content. Um, very soon we have the Nurburgring 24 hours. Very soon. So uh, yeah, so the setup and the replay file and the timestamps will be all down below in the description so you can go and check those out. So uh Let's get started then. So, here we are at Suzuka, this awesome track. So, I am going to guide you through this track. So, turn one, where to break? Um, you can see the left side, there's an orange arm code. So, when that disappears, you should start braking. So, from sixth gear down to fourth gear, keep trail braking into the corner. As you head to turn two, late apex for this one, and then you have to go down to third gear for uh, the corner. Just get some exit speed and um, turning, and use a bit of the curbs outside. So now turn three. Um, this one, there's no braking markers, but you have to brake a little bit for it. Stay in fourth gear, abuse the curbs on the left hand side of the screen, as you can see. And uh, yeah, that is turn three. So now turn four, basically the same. However, what's not the same is um, you have to shift down to third gear. So yeah, brake a little bit, shift down to third gear, abuse the curves as well as we head to turn five. This one, you have to alternating the throttle and the brake a little bit more. Uh, stay in third gear as well and uh, abuse the curves, but be careful. Um, just avoid. Just be careful of the snap of the car. So now turn six. This one's very tricky. Stick to the right hand side of the curb. Just stick to the curb on the right hand side uh, as much as possible to set up a Dunlop and uh, third gear, of course. So now we are at Dunlop. So move the car as right as possible and uh, feathering the throttle. Just you have to feel if the car is understeering too much. And fourth gear out of the corner. Be careful of the exit when, the, especially when you have cold tires. So deck number one, where to brake? So between it's between 50 board and 100 board, and uh, abuse the curves, but be careful. It will unsettle the car quite a lot. So be careful of that. So you have to be careful of your throttle input. So fourth gear down to third gear into the corner. I would go down to. Uh, third for that one. So a Degna 2, uh, middle of the left side curb is where you should start braking. Um, abuse the curbs and a down to third gear for this one. As you can see, just abuse the right hand side of the curb and uh, this one you have to uh, steer, uh, you have to steer more. It's about 180 degrees of steering. Uh, you can start turning the car into the right direction. Now, as we head to the hairpin, where to brake for this one? So, brake when the right side of the curb, this curb in front of us, disappears on your screen. Uh, our field of view is 54, so yeah, that's what I'm using. So, uh, this one, hug the apex, uh, fourth gear down to second gear, start throttling when midway through the hairpin, because if you don't do that, you're gonna lose a lot of time. And just start just tiny bit uh, throttling um, for the hairpin so now as we head to spoon one of the famous corners here at Suzuka and um, so where to break uh, it's can't you can't see it here but there is like a roadie patch in front of us so break before that so fifth gear down to third gear you can just see that roadie patch there to uh, abuse the curbs inside and go wide on purpose. So you can see there is like curbs, yeah, touch the right hand side of the curbs and then immediately go back into the inside for the second apex of spoon. 
and it stayed in third gear, as you can see, uh, I've used the curbs on the inside, and used a little bit of curbs on the outside as well, as we head to the back straight and one the infamous 130R. So we're in 50, don't shift to 6 actually, it's going to lose a lot of time, uh, this tutorial video shouldn't shift to 6 because that's going to lose you a lot of time, so stay, stay 5th, break between 50 and 100 board there and uh, abuse the curbs for this one, so go actually if the tires are cold please go slower because you'll understeer off massively and uh, you're not going to get a great run through here, so now as we head to the Casio Triangle, the final part of the circuit. So where to break? Break before the 100 marker of the left hand side and so five, uh, fifth gear down to for uh, second gear f for this corner. You're going to abuse the curves but be careful uh, throttle input because it will unsettle the car pretty much. So uh, that is it guys. Um, as you can see, final corner here really just be careful of your throttle input you can cut that corner a little bit more and uh, yeah that is it guys so next up we'll have the cockpit cam and the chase cam with telemetry and hope you guys enjoy
So that is it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today uh video of the iRacing Hall Up Guided series uh, around the Suzuka circuit with the Porsche 718 GT4. Please let me know down in the comment section below what do you think uh, about this video, what do you like, what feedback you can give me and uh, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Now I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!